All right, it's Saturday, guys. Um, last workout of the week. Today we got a fun one. This one is five rounds of AMRAP fours with four minute rest from one round to the next. So we're working for four minutes, nice and hard, then we're taking a four minute rest. So one to one work rest ratio. The AMRAP four goes like this. You're gonna start with a 400 meter run. When you come back from your run, you're going for 21 kettlebell swings. Then the remaining time, you're gonna go for max strict handstand push-ups or wall climbs. We're gonna try and get as many reps in that remaining, let's say 60, 75 seconds left to get as many reps as possible done. That's gonna be your score for each AMRAP four. You're gonna accumulate that over five rounds and that's gonna be your total score. Your total score is the accumulation of strict handstand push-ups or wall climbs. Stick to one or the other, guys. If you're looking, uh, if you're strong in your upper body, you have that strict handstand push-up, or you can do it up to an ab mat, go for it, it's perfect, we can build that strength. If you're still on the verge of kind of getting to that strict handstand push-up, wall climbs is a great progression. It really works on the shoulders, works on balance in your body and being able to balance yourself on that, um, in that handstand position. So you can use that progression for the workout as well today. As mentioned, try and give yourself at least a minute, I would say, of work or maybe 45 seconds for the last round, but try and see if you can push to have at least a minute of work at the end. So that means three minutes for the run and the 21 kettlebell swings there. Uh, remember, you're resting for four minutes, so it's a good chunk of time. Get yourself recovered. Again, walk around, flush out the legs, flush out the arms, whatever it is, and then get yourself ready for that next run. Again, this is a great interval workout to work on that VO2 max, on that endurance, especially since it's a one-to-one -one ratio there. Uh, after that workout, we're gonna cool down with some bicep and elbow mobility. If you're working on strength or if you have some issues maybe in your bicep or elbow, check this video out. This is a great video from Z Health that can help you out maybe with your uh, bicep or elbow issue that you may have, or if you're trying to work on strength in that area, it's a perfect little video for you to check out. Hope you guys enjoyed today's workout and enjoy the rest of your weekend. We'll see you guys next week.